Skateball is a sport that loves its referees. There are three main people who are constituting the refereeing committee or party of each game. They are the chief referee, the assistant referee and the recorder. Although only two of them are qualified referees, the recorder is an incredibly important role. Their role is to record the score and each ball going through each gate as the game progresses. The chief referee's role is to ensure that the number in the playing order or the number next in the playing order is called. They will call the numbers and raise their hands with respective fingers open to indicate which number of the playing order is next in turn. For instance, ball number one, ball number two, ball number three, ball number six, and so on and so forth. They are the main referee and they make most of the decisions during the game. The assistant referee is there to assist them. A gate ball court is quite large, therefore two referees are required to cover all the ground best as possible. We've discussed the position of the recorder in recording the score for the game, but there's also a scoreboard attendant. The scoreboard attendant is responsible for updating the scoreboard as the game goes on. Likewise, there might be between one and four linesmen. They are responsible for stopping balls that the referees aren't able to get to in time and to ensure that balls are placed 10 centimetres from the inner field in their respective position where they went out. All of the roles of referees are incredibly important and we're going to go through the distinguishing characteristics of each of these court officials and how to identify them during the game. The chief referee is the easiest referee to distinguish on the court. Other than the rule governing characteristics that identify the chief referee, they're the one that speaks the most during the game, so that's probably how you'll identify them. The key distinguishing factor of a referee is their armband. A chief referee's armband is coloured gold. In this case, I have a blue background with a Japanese Skateball Union logo in the middle, but you can see that the kanji characters are in gold. That indicates, if you do not know how to read kanji or Japanese in general, that this is the chief referee armband. Thus, I am the chief referee. Some referees also wear white gloves. The white gloves are incredibly useful. They're useful to the players more than the referee himself. It's very easy to see a referee who's holding up five, four, three, two, or one finger whilst they are saying numbers in the playing order. The chief referee's role is to announce the playing order as his primary role. Therefore, using gloves allows players to see his fingers much more easily against the green background of a lawn, which is most commonly used in Australia. The assistant referee is a little harder to identify on the court. This is because they don't say anything during the game in relation to calling the player order numbers. That's the chief referee's responsibility. As a result of this, they are only identified by their armband. Their armband is exactly the same as that of the chief referees, except that the kanji characters are written in silver and obviously are spelling and writing a completely different word, which indicates assistant referee. As most of us can't read Japanese, the easiest way to understand who is the assistant referee and the chief referee is to look at the colour of the kanji characters. Gold for the chief referee, and silver for the assistant referee. The assistant referee also wears white gloves in many circumstances, although they do not wear them for the same practical reason that the chief referee does, but more for uniformity with his colleague and playing partner in the respect of being a referee. The recorder is an important member of the refereeing party of an official gateball game. The way you can identify a recorder most easily is by looking at their clipboard they will usually be standing in the outer field somewhere and will be recording the balls pass through each gate or that hit the goal pole. The other way you can distinguish the recorder is by their white gloves. They will wear white gloves in order to be uniform with their refereeing party, the assistant referee and the chief referee. The other way and most definitive way to identify them is by their armband. The recorder wears an armband which is yellow with green kanji characters on it and it's very easy to identify them using this method.